Good morning, Uplift Gratis Kindergarten first and second graders. Welcome to this week's edition of Mr. Jones's Music Classroom on video, on YouTube, on our special YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've had a chance to check out our other videos. This week we're continuing our uh, Jazz Read Aloud series um, with the Jazz Fly Numero Dos, Jazz Fly 2. And you may be wondering, hey, Mr. Jones, why didn't we read Jazz Fly number one? Well, that's because I couldn't find my copy of the book. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip to Jazz Fly number two, but that will come later in our lesson. Let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda for today. So number one, we have our mindfulness activity. Number two, so la me. Number three, our rhythm and number four, our read aloud. So let's go ahead and get started with our mindfulness activity. Now this is one activity that we have done before. And remember, mindfulness is just being aware of your body and making sure you uh, have the, the tools necessary to calm yourself when you're feeling anxious or worried or nervous, okay? So today we're going to do our breathing activity. So that's going to be 10 breaths in and out okay so I'm gonna be holding up my hand like this you can choose to close your eyes during breathing or you can choose to keep them open however you would like to do I am going to keep mine open um, and count down our 10 breaths but while we breathe today we're gonna to get a little preview of the jazz fly number two by listening to some jazz pachanga all right, so I'll start our music. And let's go ahead and let's center ourselves. Let's get a little jazzy. It's okay to move if you want while you're breathing. Let me turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so go ahead, breathe in, breathe out. 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 Feel your bodily body settling in. Move into the music if you would like. Five more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. While you're breathing, really practice those listening skills. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it go and bring it back in. Hopefully you enjoyed that jazzy breathing mindfulness moment and we can go ahead and cross that activity off our list. Now let's go on to So La Mi. This week for So La Mi, we're going to do a super fast lightning round, okay? So that means I am going to do it really fast and you repeat after me like this, Do Re Mi. And then you have to repeat it that fast, okay? But be careful, because if I say, so la mi, then you have to be completely level zero, okay? Let's see if you can handle this so la mi lightning round. My turn. Do, re, mi. Mi, re, do. Do, do, re. So la mi. Oh, did you say level zero? Hopefully you did. All right, very good. Notice that I'm not pointing at you this time. So I'm letting you repeat after me. So I'm not pointing at you. So you gotta know right when to jump in, okay? Do mi so, so so fa, so so fa, fa fa mi, so la mi. Ooh, were you level zero? Give me a thumbs up if you were. 
Very good. So our last one, best two out of three. Lightning round. So la ti, ti la so, so so la, so la mi. Oh, give me a thumbs up. Oh, give me a thumbs up if you got one correct. Give me a thumbs up if you got two correct. Give me a thumbs up if you got all three correct. Oh, and give me a thumbs up if you might not have gotten any correct, but you're still trying. All right, very good. So that finishes our Sola Mi lightning round. And now we're going on to our third activity, our rhythm cards. Now let's do a quick review before we go on to our rhythms. So remember our Batman is, is uh, represented by double eighth notes. So double eighth notes get one beat. Very good. Now, Hulk represented by the quarter note. My turn. Quarter note gets one beat. All right, very good. Now, and the flash represents our half note. My turn. Half note gets two beats. Very good. And whenever we get a rest up here, remember when we see a rest, we stay silent and touch our shoulders. Very good. Superhero names first, and then we go to rhythm syllables. My turn, and repeat after me. Ready, go. Batman, Hulk, Flash. All right, very good. Now let's try our rhythm syllables. Ready, go. T, T, Ta. Ah, very good. All right. Now that we have done one, with you repeating after me, I'm going to up the challenge this week. So you guys are going to do two by yourselves, and then we'll check our answers with me. Okay. So you're doing this by yourself. Superhero names first. One, two, your turn, go. And let's check our answer. Ready, go. Batman, Flash. Give me a thumbs up if you got it correct. Very good. Now on rhythm syllables, TTs, ta -ahs, those kinds of things, your turn. One, Two, ready, go. All right, let's check our answers. Together, ready, go. T, T, ta, ah. Give me a thumbs up if you got it correct. Very good. And our last one that you will be doing by yourselves. Let me see if I can pin Hulk up there. Yes, I can. All right. You're doing it on superhero names first. Your turn. One, two, ready, go. All right, let's check our answers. Together, go. Hulk, Hulk, Flash. Give me a thumbs up if you got it right. Very good. And let's go on to our rhythm syllables. Your turn first. One, two, ta's and ta'a. All right, check your answers together. Ready, go. Ta, ta, ta'a. Give me a thumbs up if you got it correct. Excellent. All right. Those are our three rhythms for today, and we are going on to our read aloud. Now, before we get to our total read aloud, before we start reading our book, let's take a look at the cover of our book for today. So like I said, all of our books uh, that we've been reading have dealt with jazz music. So we've talked a lot about jazz music. Last week we talked about how jazz music is used in 
communities in New Orleans, how jazz music started there. And we've also talked about some really famous jazz musicians, Ella Fitzgerald, Louis Armstrong, and Billie Holiday. And now we're going to get a little silly with jazz, with the Jazz Fly 2, and introduce some Latin American jazz. So next week is Cinco de Mayo, which is a big uh, celebration in Hispanic culture. And so we're going to get a little Latin American flavor in with our jazz today. So this is our Jazz Fly 2, the Jungle Pachanga. Can you say Pachanga? Okay, Pachanga, our word right here. Pachanga is a type of dance and music that came from the country of Cuba. So it started in around the 1950s and it's a, a really fun type of jazz music with a lot of Hispanic culture, a lot of Hispanic influences and Latin American influences. Okay, so our jazz fly is traveling to Latin America today to play some jungle pachanga. So before we crack our book, let's take a look at some words that we are going to see in our book. So this has a lot of Spanish words, some that you might know, some that you might not. And so some you are going to be responsible for repeating after me, okay? So let's take a look at what I have up here. Now some of these, like chuca chuca ting, those aren't really Spanish words. Those are more like scatting that we've talked about. So like Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong used to do scatting, making up words. But like this, repeat after me, ay caramba. Ay caramba is basically saying, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. So ay caramba, now, repeat after me. Como, como llego? A la chuca pachanga. Very good. Let's try that one more time before we say I'm in rhythm. Ay caramba. Como, como llego? A la chuca. Pachanga. Okay, very good. Now let's say it all in rhythm. Repeat after me. Chuka chuka ting. Ay caramba. Como como llego. A la chuka pachanga. Very good. So I want you to remember this because you're going to be responsible for repeating this after me as we go throughout our book. So you're also going to be responsible for repeating some things that aren't written on the board. So while we're uh, reading our book, I want you to pay attention because if I say something and then point to you, that means you have to repeat after me. So make sure you're watching, make sure you're listening and let's find out what happens to our jazz fly as he and his super cool jazz band go to Latin America. Jazz Fly 2, The Jungle Pachanga, written and performed by Matthew Golo, illustrated by Karen Hankey. Oh my gosh, you know what? Ay caramba, I just realized I didn't tell you what this means right here. So, como como llego, or llego, a la chuca pachanga. So, como como llego a la chuca pachanga means how do I get to the chuca, that's not really a word, pachanga. So, pachanga is, like we said, a dance, and music. So, here it means how do I get to the pachanga party, basically. Okay, all right, now that I've corrected that mistake, we can go ahead and take a look at our book. So we see the jazz fly and his band and their really cool limousine getting ready to go. So let's see what trouble they get into while they are trying to play some super cool jazz. 
Zippity Bean, a tropical tour. The fly drove his band, nicely dressed, on their way to play in music in a termite nest. But the limousine sputtered, the gas ran dry, so the fly popped the hood and started clanging with a wrench. Conk, 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 conk. Very good. Que te pasa set us off with a puzzled look. The band had to reach the termite nook. So the fly started flipping through his Spanish phrase book. He said, chuka chuka thing. Ay caramba. Como como llego. A la chuca pachanga. Very good. The sloth let the band climb on its back, but seven seconds later stopped for a nap. A screeching spider monkey darted through the trees and heard the flies cry on the tropical breeze. Chuka chuka ting. Ay caramba. Como como llego. A la chuca pachanga. Que te pasa, said the monkey. Como, como estas? The monkey let the jazz bugs cling to its side, then gave the band a stomach churning acrobatic ride. The jazz bugs landed with antennas twisted. One last time, the fly persisted. Chuka chuka thing. Ay caramba. Como como llego. A la chuka pachanga. Vamos ya. A painted bird began to call. So the band caught a ride with an orange macaw. Parriba y pabajo. High and low, they zoomed through the canopy, then let go. Down they parachuted through the termite nest, where the glowworm waiters served the very best rotten twigs to termites and nectar to grubs. The house band scurried off, the lit stage as the managing moth fluttered down from his loft. Hola, welcome, mis amigos. I thought you had been eaten by our enemigos. Za, the fly counted. Ha, ba, da, doon, ze, ze, while Willie the worm twanged the bass. Ba, dee, ba, dee, doon, doon. Centipede Sam joined the jam. Da, dee, ga, dee. Then out strode Nancy in her rose red gown with her sax mascara and her big gnat sound. Dwee day, dwee day, dwee dee day, dwee day, dwee day, dwee dee day. A ladybug caught the jazz fly's eye, made his drumsticks bounce. Skiddly bop, oh my. Senor Mosca, my name is Juana. Your music's so Americana. The jazz fly's chest nearly leapt from his vest. He sailed up through the nest and burst the night into bop. Ha ba da doo, zee ba da boing, za bring baby, boom skiddly ba, za ba zee, za bang. Insects swarmed to dig the ripping sound till the fly caught the ear of something big on the ground. The nest started shaking. The termites were quaking. A claw slashed a hole in the wall that was gaping. A whip-like tongue shot straight to the stage, slurping chairs, tables, bug pomade, and the managing moth's pink lemonade. Senores, y senores, we are under attack. Our only hope now is to divide and distract. Take care of your young. Hold your pupa tight, and please come again on some other night. 
The termite house band grabbed the tools of their trade to confuse the anteater with the beats they played on the conga, the bongo, maracas, and bell, the claves, and timbales, which the termites played like crazy. Now, some of these instruments we played in class, right? So we played drums like the bongos. We played claves in class like our rhythm sticks. We played bells, cowbell, and we played maracas. The jazz fly buzzed outside of the nest and hovered before the ant eater's eyes. Again, he flipped through his Spanish phrase book for the words he still didn't know. Then he loosened his tie, he wriggled his feet, he bobbed his head with a Latin beat and said, Chuka Chuka Ting, Ay Caramba, Que te pasa calabaza, es nuestra pachanga, uno, dos, tres, no seas loco, cuatro, cinco, seis, Alejate un poco, taca con ting, mi ritmo es caliente. Raca don don, no te comas a mi gente. Which means, roughly translated, habaduba ding, make a move from here. Come on, pumpkin, can't you hear? One, two, three, my rhythm's hot. Four, five, six, eat my people not. The fly's Latin rhythm and his Espanol attracted a huge spotted cat on patrol. What a chilling surprise to see the jay green eyes. As the jaguar pounce stretched to full size, the jaguar chased the beast from the nest as the fly bid the anteater adios. On till dawn, the two bands played Larva dance, a thousand eggs were laid. The rainforest chattered. Word got round about the Spanish-speaking fly who really brought the house band. Es bueno, said the moth, that you learned Espanol. Another language helps when you're in a hole. The sloth and the monkey say they found your next gig. From now on, you'll be playing on an ocean rig. And here's what it sounded like when the jazz bugs left the jungle and set sail on the Caribbean Sea. Uno, dos, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Racatacadon. Hasta luego. Cuidate mucho. So you see the jazz bugs setting sail? They're playing on a Caribbean cruise line now. All right. So I hope you enjoyed our tour through the Latin American termites nest with jazz fly number two, our jungle pachanga. Remember pachanga being a dance and music from Cuba that originated in Cuba. And hopefully you learned some awesome Spanish words today. Maybe you heard some words that you already know in there. Uh, as we read along. So this is where your turn comes in to dojo me and I want you to name one Spanish word that you heard from the book and its translation. So I want you to send me a dojo message with your parents permission. You can type the Spanish word that you know and then type what it means in English. Okay, so you can use one of these words up here or another word that you might have heard from the book that you already know. So for example, you could send me a dojo message that says pachanga and then music and dance from Cuba. Or you could send me uh, a dojo message that says ay caramba and then beside it you would type oh my gosh or oh my goodness because ay caramba means oh my goodness. All right, so that's your assignment for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed our Jazz Fly number two story. 
and we'll see you next week. Until then, make sure you come visit us on Zoom, on Mondays, or if you turn in work, uh, if you send us dojo messages with your work, then you get to eat special breakfast with us on Wednesdays. We really hope to see you and uh, to tell you how much we miss you and to check on you and make sure you're staying healthy. All right, see you later, guys.